Gretchen. I'm the Restless Thrifter with Sophie, the good cattle dog. And I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. And Sophie and I are going to show you what sold yesterday, Friday, August 30th, my mom's birthday. And today's Saturday. So it's the next day and I'm getting this stuff ready to drop off at UPS. Um, that is where I drop off everything now because they're nice. They're nice and um, they treat me politely. And they don't mind if you drop off only USPS stuff at the location where I go. So I've got one great bolo. It was a good day yesterday. I met my daily goal, I think. We'll see if I met my profit goal. I only sold four things, so perhaps not. But let's see if I made my met my profit goal of $200. I'm going to put this girl down so I can do things without fur flying in my face. She's looking out the window looking for any squirrels or birds. This is my girl who got skunked, by the way. She's fearless. All right, get down, baby. Let's give her a treat for that, right? Yes, let's give you a treat. Okay. Alright, I am a little furry. I'm gonna defur before I start packing things up so I don't get them furry. I have, yeah, like I said, four things. One's a great bolo. And I'll go over information like how much it sold for, how much I paid for it when I bought it, how much profit I made after fees and shipping and everything comes out. And I'll also tell you why I picked it up, why you might want to look for it if you're a reseller. Um, but don't take my word for everything. Um, we listen to other resellers a lot, but I have been wrong so many times about things too that I have now um, decided we all need to verify each other. Um, I trust nobody. Ask the bank teller who I gave the runaround to today. Like, I don't trust anybody, especially people who say they're from the bank. So, all right, that's better. I keep one of these here to deal with the stuff too. The first thing that sold yesterday is not a Bolo brand, not at all, but it was a plus size um, jumpsuit and jumpsuit suits are still popular and those sell plus size this was a 2x emerald is the brand plus size 2x jumpsuit dark floral wide leg pockets and then I used the aesthetic keywords cottage boho and hippie because it could fit any of those the wide leg bell bottom kind of gives it that hippie look you could dress it up as a hippie type of outfit, boho as well, and then cottage core with the florals. So some things can fit multiple aesthetics. But I picked this up because I only paid 65 cents for it and it was plus size and a cute style. This sold for $10, not much. I had it listed I think for 15 and the customer offered me $10 on Poshmark and because I hadn't had sales yet yesterday, I took it. I'm like, first sale, let's get this going. So busy about having Sophie here with me that I didn't um, get everything quite ready to go. Sorry about that. Yep, I had it listed for 15 and they sent me the offer for 10 and it sold in two weeks. So that was pretty quick. I was happy about that. On Poshmark, my fees were $2.95 because it was under $15. Cost of goods, $0.65, cents, $0 shipping expenses. And I made $6.40, but it was a quick $6.40, and I didn't have a lot into it. Normally, I really want to get things that are going to sell for $30 plus shipping or more. That's kind of what I want my average to be. So, you know, if I have some things that sell like this bolo, and then some things that sell like this, that, you know, can bring my average to what I'm looking for. But having quick sales is also good. So since it's Poshmark, I can see ship it off in priority packaging because that's the type of label they send and you can get this packaging for free and yes I'd much rather use free things than purchase money and make 
or <laughs> purchase things and make less money on things overall. I know some people question resellers about that, but what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? As long as you're using them properly and you're not trying to use priority mail for non-priority packaging, it's totally fine. I think I may have shown that address for a little while there. So if you want to send this lady some other um, clothing in her size, she'd probably appreciate it. Or just send her money. It's going to Mississippi. So this is the second time this week that I've gotten a, a new label to use for Poshmark. That was interesting. This is a puppet. It is Gund is the brand. It also sold on Poshmark. And it is a panda bear puppet. Very cute. It's vintage. So, you know, the fur is not pristine white anymore. There's a little spot, you know, here or there. And there's um, this little tear in the lining. I ordered the, I mean, I ordered this. I sold this once, like years or more ago. And somebody returned it to me for that tear, which I hadn't taken a picture of the inside. So I'm not sure if they put that tear there or not, but they sent it back and I made sure to take a picture of it. You know, and it's fine. It is gunned from 1985. Here's the gunned tag. This is one of the brands I like to pick up, especially if it's vintage, but it doesn't always sell like hotcakes, okay? It took a long time for this to sell again. And it's a Poshmark order. Well, I ordered one of those things that moistens your fingers so I don't have to lick it. <laughs> it's just gross with this paper, but I'm gonna put it in some paper first and then put it in a Poshmark box. I'm going to put it in this Poshmark box. It's a shoe box. That's what they call it. Shoes don't always fit in here that great, so. And it doesn't fit like, um, you can't put a regular shoe box inside this shoe box. I don't know why they call it that. I'm almost out, so I'm going to be ordering some more. I go to USPS.com. There's a link for shipping supplies, free shipping supplies. And I'll have them sent to my house. It's great. And I will probably order 25 at a time is what I do with these. But those padded mailers, I order 100 at a time because I use a lot of them. I used to use a lot of them. Looks like I'm probably going to need to order some more soon. But I used to use a lot more when Poshmark sales were a lot higher. With my garbage bag full of bubbles that I got from Uline when I ordered something. So I'm going to fill up the rest of the box with that. These are losing their air. Probably ran over them with my chair or something. Yeah. Hi. I'll leave that part in. Giggle Maggie's. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Ugh. Tape is not sticking. What's I saying? Don't remember. Nope, I didn't print it yet. Okay, great. This one's going to New Jersey. Hope you enjoy the cute puppet panda. Puppets in general are something I like to pick up because I've sold all the puppets I've ever picked up. That one did take a while. <clears throat> Let's see how long it took and how much I made. I didn't tell you any of those things. All right, the Gun Panda Bear Hand Puppet, 18-inch vintage 1985 plush stuffed animal pretend toy. It's 
my husband being allowed. Um, it sold for $14, I think. Let me look. $14. And uh, my fees were $2.95. I had paid a dollar at a thrift store. I don't remember at this point where. And I had it listed for a year and eight months. That's how long it took to sell. I made ten dollars and five cents. Okay, and then the next sale is an eBay sale. I put inventory numbers on things so that I don't mix them up, you know, when I'm like this is a black item in a bag. It could be any black item in a bag, right? So I want to make sure that I'm shipping the right thing out. So I'm going to look up my number that I put in Vindu 1502. Yes, it is a Pendleton pencil skirt split virgin wool midi vintage office siren classic. Office siren is an aesthetic that is popular lately. What I've been seeing on TikTok as office siren is basically very slutty. <laughs> Slut shaming now. Sorry. Um, this is a mid -length, midi length pencil skirt. And if you were to wear this with like a classic button up and some heels and, you know, classic hair and makeup, you would be the office siren. You would be, um, you know, turning some heads in a classy way. That's what I think of as office siren. But this is vintage Pendleton, 100% wool. Those are good things to look for. Look for moth holes when you pick it up because the moths, they do love it. And this had a split up both sides. Well, it had one up the front and one up the back. It was pretty cute because it wasn't like it was up on the sides. It was like it was offset on the front and then offset on the back. So it was a cute look. Um, this sold for $17 plus shipping. It sold in six months. It was a customer offer. I had it listed for $25. With shipping, they paid $25.70. My cost of goods was $1.08. And where did I pick this up? I picked this up at a thrift store that has a dollar rack. I don't know why it was on the dollar rack, but it's a great pickup. And my fees were $3.57, and let's figure out shipping. I'm going to put it in a poly mailer. It's going out on eBay. So I'll have to weigh it, and the measurements will be 10 by 13. That's the size of my poly mailer. And recently, there's a new UPS ground saver that delivers in about the same time as USPS ground advantage. So I'm going to look and see if that's cheaper. Let's see which one's cheaper and go with that. Um, 12 ounces is how much it weighs. Now I'm not going to, I wouldn't choose a different service that was going to take longer, but this delivers in about the same amount of time. It could get there like a day or two later, but ground is already pretty slow. So USPS ground would be 532, ground saver would be 596. That's more expensive, so I'm going to go with the USPS version of 532. And I made $15.73 on this. So so far $25 is my profit. This is going to Brooklyn, New York. And then the last item is the bolo. It is one of the items from my most recent thrift haul that I shared with you guys. That was like my best thrift haul. And it's, um, well, since I'm going to show pictures, I won't unfold it because it's folded very nicely. I don't want to have to try again. But it's a waxed canvas vest by the brand Tom Beckby. It's a size extra large. And this thing sold for full asking price of $180 plus shipping. 
it retails for $325. My husband is very disappointed that he doesn't get to keep it. But I said, no, honey. No. Why, where are you going to wear this thing? He wears t-shirts and shorts and works in this room. <laughs> and doesn't need this vest. Uh, especially when I can sell it for $180. I paid $649. So that was a pretty good sale. It sold really quickly. Um, a week or less. I'll take a look here in a second. <clears throat> I'm going to get my transaction information to see how much they paid total. $191.40. And my fees, because it's a higher price item, are going to be higher. $2606. Oh, I already forgot what I made. So 25. So I've made about $30 profit so far. I forgot about one of those items. And let's see what this is going to ship. How much it's going to cost to ship it. I'm going to wrap it up in some packing paper here. Let's see if it works when I do it sideways. Yeah. I have a tip is to pack it first on the angle. So like I put it there at an angle first and hold it up one point and then the other two points. And the last point because putting it there horizontal to the paper wasn't working. And then I'm going to put this in a poly mailer. I just like to have that extra layer of protection, especially if somebody's going to cut it open or something. I don't want them cutting directly into the jacket. This poly mailer broke because this is too fat. I'm going to use one of these heavier, dutier. <laughs> That's not a word. eBay mailers. So it measures fifteen by fourteen. Weighs 2.8. What's up in my eye? 2.8, 15 by 14. So shipping is six seventy six. Oh, I forgot to compare it with Brown from UPS. That's fine. So I made one fifty two oh nine. So so I did not hit my goal of two hundred. I don't think we'll go and look to be sure. This is going to Kansas. So now I'm going to go to Analytics and Vindu and see how much I made today or yesterday. 241.10 was my revenue, 184.27 was my profit. Very close. Sold four items. I listed 17 items yesterday, it says. I thought I listed 18, but it says I listed 17. So I had a good day of listing yesterday. Um, if you haven't been listing, start listing for Q4. You want to start your listings now. In um, September is tomorrow or the next day? Tomorrow. 
Um, you want to list a lot in September to get ready for October, November, December. I typically make the most in October. Um, although I did have a January that was great one time. So, um, yeah, get, get your stuff listed, get your stuff listed. It doesn't need to all be winter and fall and seasonal things, but things that could be given as gifts also just in general, get your death piles listed because people shop more for themselves included, um, during the fourth quarter. They're also shopping for vacations they may take over the break. Maybe that's going to be to somewhere warmer. So I wouldn't even hesitate to list shorts and swimsuits, but first and foremost, coats, sweaters, giftable things are great things to get listed. Um, I'm taking the day off from listing <laughs> as I say that. I am going to go photograph some things and then I'm going to head to my sister's house and spend some time with her this weekend. Uh, it's Labor Day weekend, so uh, if you guys are off on Monday and have a three-day weekend, um, enjoy it. And if you have to work this weekend, I'm thinking about you too. So, bye!